Well, it should all be gone. Yeah. We're still going to be tomorrow's Tuesday. We're still not going to make it above freezing uh, tomorrow, but we'll have a lot of sunshine. Tomorrow's going to be a sunny okay. day. So, okay, I want to talk about lake effect snow. Uh, you see this dusting in Louisville. A lot of that came from the lake effect snow off of Lake Louisville and even uh, Ray Roberts to the north. Look at this here in Plano, half an inch of snow. So my thanks to everyone that sent me this. Here's a great example. This is Texoma, okay? So here's the Texas-Oklahoma line. Look at this. Look at that's. Look at, I mean, look at that. Isn't that the coolest thing, the satellite imagery showing that snow going all the way down just off to the south and to the southwest of Sherman? So that, that's what's happening there. There's our lake effect snow off of Texoma. Now we'll look at here is a Louisville, and, not, and this is Lake Grapevine. Notice how, and I was mentioning this to Chris and uh, Therese earlier, so uh, Grapevine Lake is more oriented kind of east-west, and Louisville's more oriented kind of north-south, and when you get that cold air blowing over this north-south oriented lake, you get a longer fetch of moisture and longer, and then it picks it up over this longer uh, kind of the diagonal portion of the lake, and then it kind of drops it on the south side. So with that in mind, knowing that it's more of those north-south oriented lakes, if it's not a north-south oriented lake, it's got to have a real wide body of water. But right now the lake is relatively warm. Uh, what are the, air te uh, the water temperatures? 40, maybe 45 degrees, which of course relatively warm compared to the, the Arctic air in place that's, that's been, you know, in the, the tens and teens across the area. So you have that. You have that, that, again, relatively warm air, that heat and moisture start to rise, that Arctic air picks it up, and then it just condenses it into snowflakes and it just flies downstream, and that's just exactly what we've seen. High today was 26, and that, that high today of 26, that's a new record cold high temperature. The old record cold high temperature was from 1917, that was 31 degrees. The morning low ties the record. The record uh, was 11, it still is, but we hit 11, ties it with uh, 1905 on this date. Outside right now it's 24, we have a north wind at 18 miles an hour. Tonight, mention this at the beginning of the newscast, we have a hard freeze warning. Temperatures in the single digits tonight for many locations and wind chills. That's why we have the wind chill advisory. That'll be down to 10 below zero. So with that said, look at these low temps tonight. Dallas, Fort Worth, 11 and 10. DeSoto and Lancaster, 10 degrees. Terrell and Mesquite, the lows tonight are nine. We have eights in Wiley and also in Rockwall. The same in McKinney. Frisco and Plano drop to nine. Nine in Rome, Springtown and Weatherford. The low tonight in Chico, Decatur and Bridgeport is eight. And then you throw in the winds, you know, 10, 20, maybe up to 25 tomorrow morning. Look at that. Below zero wind chills tomorrow. Plano, you'll be eight below zero tomorrow. Arlington, six below, seven below at Alliance, eight below in Rome and also in Springtown. Uh, Terrell, eight below seven. I mean, look at these temps. I mean, it's going to be cold for the kids, and that's why a lot of these schools have closed tomorrow morning is because of the dangerously cold wind chills. So 6 p.m. on Saturday, we drop, below, uh, we drop to freezing, 32 degrees. Uh, right now, we're at 24 degrees. That's 46 hours. We don't make it above freezing until 11 in the morning on Wednesday when we hit 33. You do the math, that's 89 hours at or below freezing. Not a record. The record back in 1983, 295 hours. 295 hours at or below freezing. Tonight, 10. That's the low tonight, a new record low tonight. We're still below freezing. Tomorrow we hit 28 degrees. The next 14 days, how about 44 on Wednesday? 53 on Thursday. That's the nice warm up in the forecast. We're cold on Friday, 38, 39 on Saturday. Rain comes back into the forecast Sunday. We have rain on Monday of next week, Tuesday of next week, and Wednesday of next week. And right now, Teresa, the Canadian model, it's, it's, it's wrong all the time. And I hope it's wrong on Sunday into Monday because it's giving us two inches of ice. What? The European and the American model have it all rain. So I'm going all rain. I'm not buying two inches of ice trust here. You those Canadians. Well, you know you can't. <laughs> and then we're dry after that uh, and 57 next to Saturday. So there you go. This weekend's cold. The next weekend will be warmer. You know, it's interesting.